If you have something to do, just do part of it. This will set you up to actually get it done. Just some examples. If you wanna work out in the morning, then as soon as you wake up, put your workout clothes on. It doesn't mean you have to work out yet, but at least set yourself up for success. You wanna declutter a cabinet? Well, just go ahead and open the cabinet and start taking a few things out. You don't have to do all of it, just kind of set yourself up to do the activity. Or you wanna go grocery shopping? Just make a list. It doesn't mean you're leaving right now, but at least you're ready for when you're ready to go. Hey guys, I'm Taryn, and today I am gonna be talking to you about 30 second habits that will make your life better. I frequently just really love to do tiny little habits that I feel like really help my life and really improve things for me. And so I've kind of collected about 22 things that I wanna to share today. I'm gonna to go through this list quickly so it's not a super long video, but I'm gonna share these habits because they've helped me a lot and I hope that they help you too. Okay, this one's a little bit weird, but if you are stressed out and you just wanna release some stress, just give a big sigh. I do this all the time. In fact, I didn't even know I did it. And when my husband and I first moved in together, he was like, why are you always sighing? And I finally became aware that I was doing it. And then I kind of learned a little bit later that when you sigh, it's actually a way that you're releasing stress. And they say that people who sigh frequently are less stressed. So yes, maybe I sound like I'm mad, but I'm not actually mad. I'm just releasing stress so that I don't get mad. So just try it. If you're ever feeling stressed, you know, if you're really busy working, doing something around the house or you're busy at work, just let out a big sigh and it will immediately make you feel better. Another 30 second habit is to just have a peaceful drink in the morning. I, this is my favorite part of the day. I love having a quiet cup of coffee in the morning. I do it before anyone else wakes up. It is just the best part of my day and I just sit there and have that nice cup of coffee. If you don't like coffee, have some water, have some tea, you know, whatever drink you like, but just try to have a peaceful start to your morning. I guarantee it's gonna get your day started off really well. Another habit I have is anytime someone is leaving the house, like my husband or my kids, I just give them a hug or a kiss or both. Even if they're just leaving for like an hour, I just feel like it's a nice thing to do that I think will make your life better. Another 30 second habit is to just turn on some music. I used to listen to music all the time when I was in my 20s and maybe when I was in college and when I was a kid and somehow I just drifted away from it. You know, I think after having kids and being really busy, I just stopped listening to music. I have recently found my love of music again. We ended up getting an, a subscription to Apple Music. We, we just got like a family subscription and I am just listening to music all the time now. It's really just reconnecting me with that music and it's truly making my life better. I don't know what it is, it just puts me in a good mood and I think it's just something to try. Another 30 second habit, just ice roll your face in the morning when you wake up. It will just make you feel alive and really good and it takes 30 seconds for real. Another habit is just to wash your pillowcase whenever you're doing laundry. I don't wash my sheets every week or you know every time I'm doing laundry, but it's really easy for me to just take that pillowcase and throw it in the load when I'm doing laundry. So that's a quick 30 second habit and then you can have a fresh pillowcase when you go to sleep at night. Okay, this one's about tooth care, but trust me, this will really save you. Just use a Sonicare toothbrush or some kind of an electric toothbrush and floss your teeth. This does take more than 30 seconds, but it's a tiny little habit and you just have to put it into your day. I guarantee you will not regret it. Another 30 second habit, which I have shared before, but I really, really feel like it's changed my life as well. And it is just to clean one thing every day. No matter what it is, if you just are going about your day and you see something dirty, just clean it. As long as you clean one thing every day, I firmly believe that you can stay on top of your house and keep things clean and just kind of keep things tidy and moving along. Next is to fake it until you make it. I think that one of the easiest ways to kind of get yourself pepped up for the day, if you've got like a work meeting or something important to do or just something to do that you don't want to do, just give yourself a little pep talk and it's almost like you're, even if you're not excited, you're faking it until you make it. I think this works really well. I try to do this whenever I've got something going on. Next is to get out of bed right away every morning. So I do not just lounge in bed. I think that it ends up kind of almost making me a little bit lazy, th lazier throughout the day. So I like to get up right away. As soon as I wake up, I get up out of bed. I actually am like 
incentivized to do that because I want to get up before the kids and have my quiet cup of coffee. But whatever helps, whatever makes you feel like you want to get out of bed, my recommendation is don't just lounge around in bed after you've woken up. Just use that time and get up and you will get so much more done. Okay, my next tip, and this is so important, it is to set a timer on your phone to correct your posture. The era of cell phones and everybody hunched over their electronic devices has really affected everybody's posture. So just set that timer and just take 30 seconds to adjust your posture, sit up straight. And I've said this tip before, but make sure when you're on your phone, you're not hunched down, looking down at your phone, hold your phone up. I know it looks weird, but I'm telling you, you will save your neck, you will save your posture. And same thing if you're working on a computer, make sure you have a big screen that is at eye level. This is gonna really help you as we all get older. So check that posture, 30 second habit. Next, wear SPF every day. This is easy, just stick it on before you put your makeup on. Okay, another 30 second habit is to just pick up your clothes every day. So instead of like, leaving clothes on the floor or leaving them in piles. Just take 30 seconds each day. Dirty clothes go in the hamper, clean clothes go in the closet or in the drawers, whatever it is. Another one is to empty your car every time you use it. Marie Kondo actually has the tip to empty your purse every time you use it. This one's a little bit different. It's to empty your car. You can do them both. I think this will really help in keeping your car clean and it literally is like you're going into your house, you're leaving your car, just grab your things. Another tip, if it takes less than 60 seconds, just do it. This isn't really like a 30 second thing, but it takes less than 30 seconds to remind yourself to do this. So essentially when you've got something to do, just tell yourself, can I do this in 60 seconds or less? And if the answer is yes, just do it. I do this all the time when I'm looking at the sink of dishes and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna touch these dishes right now. Then I think to myself, okay, I can do this in about 59 seconds, like I'm sure I can, and then I just have at it. So that's my recommendation. If you're ever feeling unmotivated, just think about 60 seconds or less. Okay. Next, when talking to people, use their name. This will make them like you so much more. Just like a kind of random little tip, but I wanted to get in, get that in there because this will also take less than 30 seconds and it's just a really good habit to have throughout your day. I don't know if you do this one. I do it all the time, but it's essentially to talk to yourself. I know my husband does it too because I can catch him kind of mumbling and I'm just always like, are you talking to yourself? But I do it as well. I think that this is really good because you're kind of just having this internal dialogue with yourself. You're kind of like having this mental discipline to do things and to understand things. I don't know, it's like a built-in friend that you have and it really helps me, so maybe it will help you. Okay, this one is also a little bit random, but it's to take 30 seconds to look in the mirror before you leave your house. This tip has really, truly saved me because there have been times where I just wasn't paying attention and maybe I missed a button. Maybe I have a smear of makeup on my face. Maybe I have something weird in my hair. All kinds of things can go wrong and a lot of people just forget to look in the mirror. Just check yourself out, give yourself, you know, 30 seconds to make sure everything is looking in place and looking the way you want it to so that you don't have any unexpected surprises. One of the things I've done, I've added a mirror to my closet so I just get dressed and I take a look in that mirror before I leave the house and it's really helped. And while you're looking, also tell yourself how great you're gonna do today. Just a little bit of positive affirmation. Okay, and then the last 30 second habit, this has also really helped me and, and I, I do it all the time. If somebody makes you mad or somebody annoys you, rather than immediately responding, just count to 10 in your head and then decide if you wanna respond. When I was younger, just would like, somebody would say something and I would immediately respond to them. Don't do that, It's you're going to say something that you regret. And most of the time, when I count to 10, I just say to myself, I'm not even gonna say anything, it's not worth it. And it truly isn't worth it. It's just like a little tip to kind of remind yourself what's important and remind yourself to truly think before you speak because sometimes you just get like emotional and you wanna yell at somebody and after 10 seconds, it passes. Okay, so those are my 30 second micro habits. These are things you can incorporate throughout your day. I do these regularly. I do all of these habits and tips every single day. I have found them to be really helpful. I hope they help you. I'm gonna go ahead and link another video if you wanna kind of keep the habits going. So go ahead and click on it and I will see you over there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.